My name is Sage Regan and I'm a Governor French Academy student and I'm currently in ninth grade. Um, my science fair project was the effects of cadmium and zinc on Sonorbidus elegans. And so a quick rundown of my project is basically I use two different types of worms. I use a mutant type and a wild type. Um, and so these worms are used in genetic research and manipulation. I wanted to use them to try and make connections between the worms and humans. I also want to work with them so that I can work better with them in the future. Um, basically what I did was I took these worms and I introduced them to the heavy metals and I would count the amount of time that they thrashed within a 30 second time frame. Uh, I counted a thrash as a movement from one way, so if it was like this and went straight again, that would be one thrash. Sometimes it would circle and then once they straightened out again, that would be another thrash. Um, and so I would count I would count whenever they were back in the straight line. Uh, I, like I said earlier, I went to further explore with them. My teacher had introduced me to a lady named Betsy Bodeker, um, and Ms. Bodeker uses these worms to research uh, multiple sclerosis, and my mom has MS, and so I want to try and further explore that, and so maybe I can help some way. Uh, so my results. The wild type had, they were both introduced to cadmium and zinc. I found it really interesting because the wild type had a much different reaction than the mutant type. The wild type had a higher cadmium count with their the average thrash count being 57 compared to the mutant type which only had 43. The mutant type on the other hand had a much higher zinc count. The zinc count for the mutant was 47 compared to the wild types uh, 44. And this is all compared to the control, and the control just had a buffer in it, which is kind of like a happy medium. Um, and so for the control, the mutant type only had 35, and the wild type had 40. So the connections I wanted to make between this was spasms, was the first one. Um, whenever humans are introduced to heavy metals, certain heavy metals, we will spasm, spasm have seizures. Um, and so I found it interesting how these worms had loss of control the way, same way that we do whenever we have seizures. Um, the wild type, I wanted to make the connection between their increase in cadmium. Um, cadmium has had a correlation with the increase in Parkinson's. And so I found it interesting that these worms, this specific type of worm, the wild type, would be more susceptible to Parkinson's. Compared to the mutant type, the mutant type had a much higher zinc count. And so a higher zinc count has had correlations to Alzheimer's. And so it's possible that the mutant type worms may be more susceptible to Alzheimer's. Uh, if I were to do this project again, I want to build on this project. I might not stay with these heavy metals. I do want to move over more towards MS and MS research. Um, but if I were to do this exact same project again, I would introduce more trials. I wasn't able to do as many trials as I would like to, but I would definitely include a lot more trials so that my research would be more definite. Um, I would also want to um, single out a single worm. So whenever I was using these worms, I would put them onto the counting chamber and I would look under the microscope and identify a worm and count that within 30 seconds. And then I would step away for a minute and a half, and then I would go back and count for another 30 seconds. And I did this three times. It's, they're worms, so it's kind of hard to make sure that you're counting the, the exact same worms thrashes each time. I feel that if I was able to single out a single worm and then be able to count that, that my uh, results may be more definite. So I want to say thank you for your time, and I hope you find my research interesting.